Now let's look at manpower analysis and projection, the Panis Mediterranean Regional Project Approach. Now, in using this method, it was developed by the Organization of the Economics, Community and Development in 1962 to produce educational plans for certain number uh, member nations. Now, this method proceeds from the initial projection of a target gross national product, GNP, or the gross domestic product, GDP, in future years to supply of educational manpower needed to attain the set target. This goes through four stages. First, we'll have break the target GNP or GDP. You have to break the target GNP or GDP in the years ahead into four major sectors. So what are these four major sectors? We're looking at the social, agriculture, manufacturing, power, and transportation, and so on. So you have to break them into major sectors ahead. If you don't break them into major sectors, you will not be able to know what should be attributed to what. Looking at the GNP, the gross national product, and the gross domestic product. So you have to look at what, in which sector do you require this amount. Now you look at, apply the average labor output coefficient to the sector G, GNP or GDP target to obtain the estimated future sector employment. For example, if output of a sector A is valued at 100 million in 2001 and the quantity of labor employed in sector A in 2001 is 1 million. The average labor output coefficient in 2001 will be what? Because right here, you discover that to get that uh, the GNP or the GDP, you must get the estimated future employment. And this is what. So how are we going to get this done? So here you have the average labor output coefficient will now be labor over the uh, the labor over the output so that is 1000 over the 1, 1 million over 100 million where la is quantity of labor in sector a because that was the labor you had now the output of what the labor is is this now that will give us 1 over 100 which is 0 0.01 or 1 percent that is what that requires now the third one is distribute the sector employment among the least or mutually exclusive occupational category. Fourthly, determine the occupational structure. This is done by the application of the standard benchmark of the level of required education or to, successful, uh, to successfully perform the listed occupations. So once you have been able to achieve this, there you now work on. These are the four requirements that you need when you are using this uh, method. Now let's look at the formula that goes with it when you want to use this method. But however, there are certain things we need to put in mind. This method sum up by multiplying the uh, fractions of the GNP or GDP that are derived in the various sectors by the labor output coefficient according to the uh, according to uh, Akagbu and the Blanc where you're talking about in 1982 and in 1970. So they came up with this. Now let's look at how this will transform. This is the formula. And here, because it's a matrix, whereby the Q here represents the GNP or the GDP, then this fig the formula here, this one represents GNP or GDP organizing each year or sector. So whereby the I is equal to one, two. So it depends on the sector. These are representing the sector now into the N infinity sectors labor force in each year that is what this one represents this other l and k represent labor force in each occupation you have in each sector and in each occupation then lastly you have labor force with each level of education because in the labor force you categorize either you are looking at it in each sector you have occupation and you have the level of occupation that will be added in there now let's look at an example here here is an example let us project future map power target for a country B by following this step. Now, the target year is 2015. That is the year we want to project map power for. So what we're going to do here, set up a distribution of GDP at current price in N million. Now, you have to bring it up here. This is what we have here as the current 
GDP in 10 million. Now that is the Naira, the Naira here, this sign represents the Naira sign million, which means everything we are putting here is in million and they are in Naira. That is what it represents, all these figures. So right here you have the setup. You have set of one to four. That right here you have in 2005 the actual that you have and they are putting fraction in brand the fractions are in bracket that here in 2015 the estimates this is what you are estimating then in 2015 again in the the estimate this estimate you have here you have to estimate you're estimating this or this so how does this play out now let's look at the b the b find the average labor output coefficient by settle in 2005 so to get the average labor coefficient because this one is the naira value of it that we have that right here we have here 400 the output here for 2005 is stated here then the labor employed in 2005 is stated here then to get the average labor output coefficient it will be what now we are going to have l over the output that is labor over output and that will be one divided by two that is the output this is the labor so if we do that this will give us the coefficients that is how we arrive at this now the next one is to get the project the setter uh, employed now if you look through the setters again in 2015 gdp estimate in naira million in million naira one we have it here so let's go back to table one that is the table a that we have in here that is how we arrive at this that is 2050 that is 2050 naira and million naira now if you go to this other one the average output that we have that is on this side again we are going to have this so that is how you are having this here this one is just directing us what we are having here. Now here you now come up. How do you calculate the label now? Because we have this, we have the A, B. Now we have coming in that to project sector employment in 2015. It will now be what you have in column one times what you have in column two. That is how you now have 820 million times this. Remember, all these are a million. This is 820 million. This is 480 million. This is 400 million. This is 350 million. Remember, they are all in millions. So when you do that, you sum it up. That will give us 11,353,000. 11,353,000. So it means this is what will be required in 2015.